it's essential, I think, that organisations like Europol and Interpol regularly meet and exchange views. I think the, the great thing that Interpol can do at a meeting like this is, is bring along the diversity of the membership. I think there's over 72 countries have now joined the network of Interpol specialists focusing primarily on migrant smuggling issues. So bringing that network along and joining it up with the European base I think gives the, the meeting a depth of knowledge and experience that's unprecedented. Interpol likes to focus on the pragmatic police cooperation and I'm glad to say lots of that is happening. Uh, but in addition, we're also contributing to the analytical pieces uh, jointly between Interpol and, and Europol. We're bringing those networks together um, so that strategies can be built and capabilities implemented that will have a real impact on the ground against migrant smuggling organised crime network. This is a very dynamic crime issue. There are lots of Mr Big Enoughs, as we say in organised crime. There's no Mr Big. It's very dynamic and adaptive. And as soon as law enforcement launches an initiative, we often see these small groups counter and introduce new strategies, new tactics to try and get around law enforcement initiatives. So it's very dynamic, which means that Officers have to communicate often uh, and intensely to make sure that we have the most up-to-date intelligence to supply our members.